Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and happy Halloween to any of you who are enjoying the festivities tonight. Hope you have a good one and I've already done a couple of like Halloween themed videos here on the channel so today I just really wanted to play My Nightmare Legacy Family. I mean it has Nightmare in the title, we're having Malcolm Langrab's baby which is honestly I feel one of the most terrifying things that you can personally do in The Sims 4, however I have been told he does have pretty cute babies. I guess the proof will be in the pudding. Now I'm fairly sure Aiden is actually going to give birth in this part. She is already in her third trimester. I've played a fair few days off screen. However, she has just noticed that this statue has been defaced. So she's actually gonna come and clean it up. That's also because I actually want to make an offering for academic success. Obviously she realizes for the last like three days of her university final term she is pretty much gonna be a mother. So she is gonna have her work absolutely cut out for her. So therefore I want to make an offering basically to be like please whoever is watching over me watch her. I'm gonna need you to give me good grades which don't worry babes. I already know you're gonna get good grades. I've made it so. We actually have three excellent death flowers and I already know this is going to be a great little offering to the statue. It's absolutely fecking going to love it. So fingers crossed that actually allows us to be very Oh, okay, you're just taking a little photo of us. I mean, Yuki, I definitely did not. Oh, she's coming to talk to me. We are gonna have a chat. She is still a teen. This is kind of cute though. I imagine that we are like inspiring the next generation to come to Brychester. It feels like she's on a little open day. She's taking photos. Trust me, been there, done that, did it in Newcastle. Absolutely fucking loved it, didn't I? Why are you reading like an old person trying to read their phone? She's like this. Like, my siblings are so annoyed because they've all, like, reached, not all of them, but a lot of them have, like, reached over 40 this year. And they're absolutely fuming that they are now one of those people who reads their phone like that. My brother was like, I never thought I would be one of those people. Age gets us all, buddy. I'm sorry to tell you. Aiden definitely feels lucky. This is a great time to take advantage and do some schoolwork. I mean, Yuki is just fucking out here distracting me. <laughs> she, she actually looks very pissed off. I don't think we inspired her at all. I actually think we probably just went, ugh. You think you can go to Brychester? You definitely belong in Foxbury. Even though I absolutely adore Aiden, I do feel like she very much has a bitchy side to her. She has a full on, <gasps> oh no, I forgot that he's a college professor, Jeffrey. <gasps> he's probably gonna see us pregnant. I mean, it's not like he knows. One, Malcolm has never, I don't, oh actually, yeah, we woohooed in their family home, didn't we? <laughs> I was like, I'm fairly sure he hasn't like introduced us to his parents. We haven't had a formal sit down, which honestly, she's really, really pissed off at the fact that it is love day today and he hasn't even tried calling her. Oh my God. Regular university outfit W. She wants to rudely introduce herself and be mischievous. She is a menace to society. Oh, what did you offer it? Eh? You feeling confident too? Oh, she needs to pee. I want to actually take her off to the spa. Like I said, she's royally pissed off that Malcolm has not called his pregnant girlfriend on love day and invited her out on a date. So she's actually gonna treat herself. We're gonna stop doing homework. You've got all weekend to do homework. Is it likely that our, I was gonna say our bladder is going to burst? That could also potentially happen, but our waters are gonna break whilst we are on a massage table. Yes, why am I going to Chestnut Ridge? That's absolutely not what I needed or meant to do. I'm trying to think 
like if she maybe would want to bring anyone with her but i feel like because she's like so heavily pregnant she has so many enemies i really did not notice how many people disliked aiden first of all let's not actually oh visit 25 different lots okay i mean i've been playing this family for a while i don't know how many particular hours i have in this save for file but i'm kind of shocked that it took that long where are the toilets in here okay there's one over here i don't know if these are gendered yes they are annoyingly <gasps> Nancy's here as well. <gasps> Why do I kind of like want to talk to Nancy and be like, uh, excuse me? I don't feel like she would pretend or like admit that Malcolm's knocked her up, but we are gonna go and do an enchanting. I was enchanted to me, you. Where is she? Has anyone ever said that about Nancy Langrab? Actually, I feel like Jeffrey said that. Jeffrey is a darling, and I imagine he gives her everything in the world is enchanting like gonna be flirty though because i don't want it to be flirty it had a little love heart next to it so that feels like a romantic kind of thing maybe i should just go give a cheerful introduction instead oh she's full-on waiting for us with that face like a slapped ass this is nancy larry yeah sometimes i do get a little bit confused between my nancy and my judith because in my head canon is the fact that Nancy has based herself off Judith Ward and has had surgeries to like replicate Judith. Ask for blessing to marry. The fact that I just want to throw Malcolm under the bus right now. Oh, it's so, so close to doing it. We're gonna drive straight on in to a deep conversation. Tell her a funny story about how her son found out that we were pregnant and then was like, oh, sorry, gotta go. I feel like Nancy would want to take care of Aiden and I feel like Aiden knows that. Like Nancy is very much built like Aiden, you know, in the sense that she wants to show off to like the people around her as if she is like a caring person when we all really know underneath that she's not but we're gonna give a cheeky little humble brag discuss our interests i can see these two being besties <gasps> she apologized she so just apologized for malcolm are you kidding me the way that she was like oh she clutched her pearls she was shooketh that her son like could just leave this lady high and dry uh i actually want to go and request a manicure we are gonna request one off angela pleasant why does she look so pissed off that she has to she's tense <laughs> whose nails has she's been doing bagos he's so nice i think we're just gonna go for like a nude i love how she's doing this as just a little get back at market why do you look in love with her excuse me Ada, she, you know, she's like, oh, your son isn't gonna look after me? That's fine, I'll look after myself. Nancy is very impressed by that, I feel. Can we still uh, talk to her? What did, yes, I want you to apply a facial mask. How did you know? Did I choose that? I don't think I did. Uh, we are gonna purchase and apply one though. I thought we got to choose it like then and there, but apparently not. And then we're also gonna get ourselves a pedicure too, I think. I'm still not over the size of this nail varnish. It's so big for like no reason. Ooh, Nancy's getting a little foot massage. Why can we not talk to her? That would make like couples visits to the spa so much better. I felt like I just heard water. I really hope that wasn't her waters breaking. Why can I kind of see Angela and Aiden being besties? Not saying that Aiden gives me horse girl energy the way that Angela Pleasant does, but again, they just kind of have the same vibe. I feel like we need to get Aiden a girl squad. I feel like that is something that she would very much have. 1989 Aiden's version coming at you. Oh, they're very, very metallic. <laughs> Beach bonfire has started. Oh, she's glistening. Oh, I wish I got a screenshot of that for the thumbnail. Uh, we are fully just gonna go for a gold 240k. Waste that money on a 100 simoleon face mask. Once again, just showing off to Nancy with the fact that we can 
We could just straight up ask for a large loan. I don't want to do that just yet. Do I ask her for blessing to marry? I feel like we need to get to know her a little bit more first. I'm just gonna try and like show off to her. Talk about like gourmet cooking, all of that. Well, yeah, why don't you um, why don't you feel your grandchild? How about that? The fact that she just had the audacity to look bored with me. I'm inviting you to feel your grandbaby. Oh, she's, oh, she said, no, I'm okay, actually. Thank you. Oh my goodness. They fell out over that. This is not good. Convinced to do my homework? No, we're not gonna do that. Are you celebrating? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, why are we celebrating? This has been the worst love day ever. Like, your son has not done anything. We are not going to ask her her due date. I feel like she would absolutely kill me. Oh, we're really not getting along now. I really thought that she would enjoy a little gossip. I think it's because Aiden is feeling like so, so tired. We'll go get Pitta and Hummus Tapas, I think. Oh, that man left so fucking fast as soon as we ordered our food. Hermie lives by himself. Oh yeah, Myrtle passed away, by the way. Just as a heads up, the last remaining triplet did pass. So Herman is living all all by himself. But like I said, he's gonna play a pretty big role when it comes to our air, which I'm actually so, so excited about. Her bladder is going down so fast. Like I know obviously in the third trimester, that's very likely to happen, but it's just like, zoom in. She feels like a Sims 2 sim right now. And then uh, why don't you come and watch a little chick flick? We are gonna go for Simda. Watch other people romance each other instead. I feel like she has had it up to here with Malcolm Langrab. I don't see this relationship going well at all. But then she still knows that she's kind of in it for the money and so doesn't want to like cut things off before she's like got the deal, you know? Oh, she's feeling heartbroken. Aiden, don't make me feel sorry for you. I do feel sorry for her. She deserves better even though she's a bit of a bitch. Not the romantic soundtrack. <gasps> he looks like Malcolm as well. Stop it. She turned it off and she said, nah, he's reminding me too much of Mr. Malcolm Langraff. <laughs> and just fell asleep. Oh, I feel so bad making a pregnant lady pass out. Right next to the fireplace as well. Oh, there we go. <gasps> she barely got any sleep. She is bursting with anticipation to meet her new... Oh my God, are these good tingles? Time to take off the mass tingles. How do we get rid of it? I don't want to go. You know what? Actually, she would definitely go to the hospital first before taking it off. Can I save the game? I feel like there's so much going on right now, especially with her energy being so low. I feel like this is going to like ruin my game somehow. It's going to like corrupt the save. We are going to have the baby at hospital. We are going to join her. We are going to drag Malcolm Langrab. I kind of want to bring Nancy just like out of pure spite for Malcolm. But I also don't want him to miss like his child's birth, you know? So we'll take him with us. As a treat, he can witness the labor. Even though he doesn't deserve a treat, the scumbag. He's absolutely gonna go into a pre-parental panic. How did I know? <laughs> he's like, I'm not ready for this. Oh no, he's like shook that uh, our face mask is still on. He just like full on was like, Ooh. can we check in? I wanna have a baby. Why is everyone walking away from me? I literally checked in and they were like, oh, sorry, gotta go real quick. Can I just please stop? <laughs> she keeps passing out. I knew this wasn't gonna go well. Oh my God, the phone lines are popping off. Okay, are you gonna go have it? Who is our nurse? Okay, it's not you. I think it's him. Um. Malcolm, did he run off again? The hatred in me is growing every single time. Why is the machine moving by itself? No, 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 no. My ancestors are in the room with me right now and I am scared. Please, Lord, do not let DeAndre be in control of those. <laughs> Imagine. Our cursed founder of the Nightmare Legacy Challenge haunting the feckin... Whoa, Jesus. Oh my God. No, it's going terribly. They're like fighting with each other. DeAndre, it's definitely... 
you look at the way that Aiden's like, ah, oh, get me out of, it's squirting everywhere. Oh my goodness. DeAndre, stop with the chaos. Man, you are literally lasering your great, great, great grandchild. <gasps> Aiden just gave birth to a baby boy. I was honestly, not gonna lie, fully expecting a girl. We're gonna have to, yeah, we should get rid of the goth, I think. We're gonna drop it for singleton land grab. Ooh, it's not, no, it's not long enough. I haven't even asked you lot for a name. <gasps> Wait, we have the wheel spinner. What am I talking about? I want to name him like something like Bartholomew though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try to spin it, but honestly, if it doesn't land on one that I feel like is relevant for her, I may spin it again. But I feel like there's, ooh, Freddy. Casper is also not Chucky. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm not doing Chucky. I simply refuse. Chucky can stay on there. I'm going for Casper. What if I do Casper L. Singleton? Like Landgrab is his middle name. I'm going to do that just for like the basis of this. <gasps> She's a boy mum with boy twins. It could be triplets. No, I'm not manifesting that. I'm not speaking it into existence. We only need to have two babies this generation. Why is this family cursed? Another baby boy. Sylvester is a very, very her name, I feel as well. I think I might just choose the names myself. I think we will go for Sylvester. It was one of your options. And then again, I'm gonna call him Sylvester L. Singleton. <laughs> Casper and Sylvester, such Aiden names. I absolutely, oh, thank fuck for that. Jeez Louise, I was so scared. I was terrified that we were gonna get a third baby out of that. Oh my goodness gracious me. Now we're gonna have to like go move in with like Malcolm or have him live with us. Like we need help. We're a mum of twins. Are you fucking kidding me? We got Casper and Sylvester. This is so funny. Those names, I am cackling. Oh, she didn't get the little like rash from her uh, face mask, which is good. All right, girlie, you can, you can head back home to the terror of what is twins. We're definitely gonna have to like get married or like move him in. I don't even want to get married when they're like infants. I want to wait until they're at least toddlers. I'm basically more annoyed because like I wanted her to kind of use her baby as an accessory as bad as that sounds but now that we have like infants and you can have them in like the little like back carriers and stuff I can imagine her like going for like jogs on the beach and stuff and like going like out for luncheon with the girlies and like showing off her baby and stuff like that but now we can't do it because we have two of them. I mean I I guess we could have one on our back and then one on our arms, but I feel like that's not the vibe that she was going for. She wasn't going for like full mum core, but I feel like when you're a boy mum of twins, you have to ha be a little bit mum core. All right, go get some leftovers. Love day was awful. Yeah, all thanks to guess who? Malcolm Langrab. Who is over there? Is that Aiden? Why are you over there? <laughs> Why? Why is this necessary? I should just delete this little thing out here. But I also imagine, oh my god, I just remembered that they're one of our heirs. Casper or Sylvester is gonna be an eco warrior. Just purely based off name wise, I'm thinking it's gonna be Casper. But I guess that like Sylvester could start going by like Sylvie, which feels a little bit eco warrior. We're gonna like roll for that anyway of who I think I want like the heir to be. We're gonna completely randomize it this time around. The last few times I feel like I've overrided and chose who I want the heir to be, but this time I want it to just be a pick between the both of them. But I think they are, shh, they're just outside in a tent, already living that beach eco lifestyle that I wanted them to live. I think I'm gonna wrap up here though. We pretty much did everything that I wanted to do. I'm fairly sure in the next part, these two are probably gonna be infants by that time. I'm not gonna lie to you all, which I think will be a nice little surprise because you like won't see their like infant makeovers, but I do wanna give them a makeover. And obviously, I want Aiden to go through her graduation. I do want to 
start giving them like little personalities. I feel like she will dress them to the nines. I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you all so much for being here. Like I said, I hope you have a really nice evening. If you are celebrating Halloween, even if you aren't, I hope you have a lovely evening. Stay safe and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.